Welcome. My name is Aaron Van Bennett. Today I'm talking about Formulog, data log for SMT-based static analysis. This is joint work with Michael Greenberg and Steve Chung. So what is Formulog? It's a domain-specific language we've designed for writing SMT-based static analyses, like symbolic evaluation or refinement type checking. It combines the logic programming language data log with a first order fragment of the functional language ML and with SMT solving. And this combination makes it possible to write your SMT based static analyses in a way that's close to their formal mathematical specifications like inference rules. And at the same time, you can apply powerful high level optimizations to them like automatic parallelization. So we'll begin this talk by working through an extended example. I'll then go into the design of Formulog and conclude with a uh, brief discussion of our evaluation. Let's look at this example. We're going to build a symbolic evaluator for control flow graphs of a simple imperative language, like the graph on this slide. And our evaluator is going to try to determine all of the nodes in the graph that are reachable. In this case, they're all reachable, except for the node labeled four, because the path leading to four is not actually feasible if you look at the constraints along that path. The first thing we need to do is to actually encode this control flow graph in Formulog. We'll do that partly through algebraic data types. Here we define the type of an instruction of our input language. And then we'll do it partly through enumerated relations that will actually describe the shape of the graph. So we'll have a relation saying what the entry point of the graph is, another one relating a label to the instruction at that label, and then a third one specifying uh, fall through behavior. So we have our graph representation. As our evaluator traverses the graph, it's going to need to maintain some state and we'll use the ML fragment of Formulog to define this state. We're gonna say that values for our evaluator are terms of type I32 SMT, which is the Formulog type for a 32-bit vectored valued uh, SMT term. So essentially a symbolic bit vector. And then we can define a store mapping variables to values and a function for looking up variables in the store. The interesting case here is when a variable is not in the store, because then what we're going to do is actually create and return a symbolic bit vector. And this is the way that symbolic uh, values are actually going to enter our evaluation. The other case for lookup is standard. Now that we've defined state, we can actually define evaluation itself, and we'll do that through horn clauses. So uh, these horn clauses are going to define a relation reach, which just says that the evaluator has reached some label with some store and with some path condition, which is the accumulated constraint that uh, we've uh, gathered up by traversing some path. And I'll just mention in passing, I'm going to ignore the issue of how we ensure that our um, evaluator actually terminates. Okay, so um, here is the base case for our evaluator. This horn clause here says that the start label is reachable with an empty store and the path condition true. And the way to read one of these horn clauses is as a logical implication with the right side implying the left side. We would actually need a different horn clause defining each possible step the evaluator can take. So on this slide, we have the rule defining uh, what happens when we reach a conditional jump and we take the jump. So let's break this down a little bit. We're saying that the true label is reachable with some store and some new path condition. When we've reached a label that has a conditional jump, 
we can look up the values for the variables that are being compared at that conditional jump, and then encode a new path condition, which is that comparison conjoined with the old path condition. And this new path condition is satisfiable. The satisfiability check is important for ensuring that you don't explore parts of the graph that aren't reachable. So uh, a couple things to note here. One is that we're using complex terms to represent SMT formulas like this conjunction. The second is that we use these built-in SMT operators for reasoning about SMT formulas, uh, for example, for checking satisfiability. So this is the rule defining the true case at a conditional jump. We also have a rule defining the false case where we just fall through. And it's this uh, row here. It's pretty similar to what we had before with just a couple of tweaks. And the uh, thing to note here is that this rule can actually fire concurrently with the previous rule. That is the condition for each rule. Uh, they can be satisfied simultaneously. Uh, and this is important for a reason that I'll get to in just a minute. So what are our takeaways from this example? Well, one is that we've been able to program in a way that's very close to what a formal specification for some block evaluation might look like. For example, one involving inference rules and helper functions. The second is now that we've written our analysis, the formula log runtime can optimize it for us in some really interesting ways. First, we can get parallel symbolic evaluation for free. So when the evaluator reaches a conditional jump and both branches are feasible, because we've defined it uh, via these two rules, which can fire simultaneously, the formula runtime will essentially run them in parallel. And this means that we'll be exploring both branches in parallel. And the second optimization we get is goal-directed evaluation. So say that we really only care whether node four is reachable. We could just add this query here, and this would direct the formula log runtime to rewrite our analysis so that it, ex it explores only nodes that given the control flow graph could be on a path leading to node four, which in this case means we omit exploring node five. And it's really neat that the formula of runtime can do these sorts of uh, powerful high level optimizations automatically for us. Now let's talk about the design of formula. So formula combines data log, ML, and SMT solving. The data log part provides the high level structure for a formula program. The ML part provides a nice way to construct and manipulate complex terms like formulas. And then the SMT part provides these operators that can be used for advanced reasoning, such as for checking for satisfiability or getting a model. And in the back end, these operators actually dispatch to external SMT solvers. So why is this a good design? I'd like to highlight just a couple key features of it. The first is that it retains the power of data log, by which I mean that you can apply these powerful high-level optimizations to formula uh, that are kind of <clears throat> very natural for data log, such as automatic parallelization or the magic set transformation. You can evaluate formula log programs using scalable data log evaluation techniques. And in general, we can sort of take advantage of all the great research that has been done on data log. The second feature is that it retains the power of SMT solving. In formula log, it's possible to construct many interesting expressive formulas. It's very easy for formula log to accommodate many different SMT lib theories. And in fact, we allow users to define their own algebraic data types and then write formulas about them. And uh, in formula log, SMT formulas are terms, not code or constraints like they might be in constraint logic programming. 
And this means that you can dynamically create and manipulate SMT terms. And that also you can reason about stuff that's unsatisfiable, which is important if you care about validity. And the final feature I'll highlight is that our design guarantees safety as we've designed a uh, type system that makes sure that the interaction between data log ML and SMT solving is safe. And we've proven this sound with respect to all three semantics. Great. So now let's look at whether this design actually works in practice. To evaluate this, we built a Formulog prototype runtime, and it's not highly uh, sophisticated or optimized. Its goal is really just to get at this question, can this design be the basis of a realistic tool for writing SMT-based static analyses? And our evaluation shows that it can be. As part of our evaluation, we wrote three substantial SMT-based static analyses in Formulog. Each of these analyses is between one and 1 1.5 thousand lines of code. So we wrote a refinement type checker, a bottom-up points to analysis for Java, and then a symbolic evaluator for a subset of LLVM. And this one we compared against CLI and CBMC. Our results are promising. So in the first place, we were able to code these analyses up in a way that is very close to their formal specifications. In fact, close enough that uh, by faithfully implementing the specification, we found bugs in a couple of them. We were able to achieve reasonable performance, even outperforming the reference implementations in some cases, which is uh, very promising given the relative naivety of our Formulog runtime prototype. And finally, we were able to see that these high-level optimizations I've talked about really do work in practice, which is pretty cool. A good example of that was a sorting benchmark we used in our symbolic evaluator case study, where we compared CLI, CBMC, and Formulog. I want to note just at the onset that this isn't a true apples to apples comparison, as each tool implements different analysis logic. Nonetheless, it does provide some good context for our results. So we first ran all these tools in an exhaustive mode where they explore every program point, every reachable program point in the benchmark. And here it took CLI about 27 minutes to complete. It took CBMC a little bit under three minutes and it took us a little bit over three minutes. And the reason we were able to achieve this substantial speed up over CLI was really thanks to automatic parallelization. So we just wrote our analysis and then the formula runtime automatically parallelized it for us. So after running uh, these tools in an exhaustive mode, we tried running them in a more goal-directed mode where we wanted them to focus on paths leading to assertions. There's no way to do this automatically in CLI. In CBMC, you can enable this because it supports a program slicing feature. And in Formulog, you uh, get this by just adding a query saying that we only care about program points with assertions at them. And then the Formulog runtime will do this automatic rewriting to turn our analysis into one that only explores program points that given the control flow graph might lead to an, an assertion. Okay, so in this case, uh, we were able to further extend our speed up over CLI. And in fact, on this example, we're even a little bit faster than CBMC. And this really goes to show the potential of these high level formula optimizations and how they can really make a difference for interesting SMT based static analyses. So to summarize, Formulog is data log for SMT-based static analysis. It makes it possible to write your SMT-based analyses in a way that's close to their formal specifications and amenable to high-level optimizations. And it all works by taking data log and extending it with the power of SMT solving. And with that, I'd encourage you to check out our prototype and come chat with us. We'd love to engage about this. Thanks.